What is up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your fourth Android application development tutorial. That's an awfully long name, I better start calling them just Android tutorials. Welcome to your fourth Android tutorials and in this tutorial what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over how to build a project and also how to set up our emulator. Now our emulator is pretty much a fake cell phone that we make on our computer so anyways you'll learn about that later but let's go ahead and start a new project so go ahead and get Eclipse open actually let me jot down the time 7.33 jot it down in my little diary so I know when I'm running out of time anyways go ahead and open Eclipse and in order to start a project do this file new project easy enough now we have a lot of different choices here but what we are looking for is Android so go ahead and expand that and BAM look what you got even more choices Android project and Android test project go ahead and select Android project and once that's selected the next uh, little button should be able to click what's a good word for able to click clickable there we go that's the word I was looking for so we need to fill in this form exactly like I'm gonna show you how and you need to do that for two reasons first of all if you fill it out differently than me then your project might not even work and second of all if you fill it out different than me then when you're following along with my tutorials it's gonna be harder to follow along because we're gonna have different libraries so anyways do exactly as I do for your project name this is irrelevant I'm gonna name mine Bucky you name yours whatever you want for all of your contents right here go ahead and leave all these as default and that should mean this radio button that says create new project in the workspace should be uh, clicked and use default location should be checked and all the content means is pretty much where are you keeping all your files pretty much the location of your project so don't even worry about that by default it should be right in your workspace right where you want it now the build target for this you want to select Android 2.2 and your build target like you can see is pretty much the version of Android um, not only what version they need on their device to run but also what libraries do we want to use so anyways go ahead stick with me just like Android 2.2 for consistency now for your application name go ahead and name this the exact same as your project name so what if your project name is Bucky name that Bucky for your package name, now I don't know if you guys know this, you should from watching my Java tutorials, but a package is just uh, it's just how they organize classes in Java. So go ahead and they have a weird system. If you watch my iPhone development tutorials, then it's kind of the same naming system. But anyways, you have to start with com always. And kind of like each other class, you separate them by period. You know what? I'm not going to go over package naming because, well, quite frankly, it's boring. But anyways, just go ahead and write com dot the new Boston dot um, Android dot and then just name your project, whatever your project name is, Bucky. If you want to look up how to name packages, go ahead and Google it because uh, it's pretty boring if you ask me. But anyways, whenever you write create activity, if this isn't checked by default, go ahead and check it. This means, well, it says right there, spe specifies if you want to create a default activity. And a default activity is this. It's pretty much the first file that gets called, or pretty much the first class that runs whenever you start your program. So anyways, go ahead and name this something like um, main activity. So what this is going to do is it's going to create a class called main activity and this is the first class that's going to be called whenever you run our device. Now on our minimum SDK version go ahead and type in the number 8 and how do we know that's number 8? Check this out. On our build target Android 2.2 the API is 8 right there so that's pretty much what it's asking what API and again like I said this is linked to your Android 2.2 and it's basically saying um, what's the minimum version of Android needed to run this application aka what libraries do we want to use so anyways now that everything is set up this finish button should be clickable and there you go so go ahead and why not click that just like that and now check this out right here we're getting errors in our project but if we wait a little bit then errors disappear that may confuse a couple of you guys at first but let me tell you guys why that's happening if you're getting errors first of all 
just wait a couple seconds and don't worry. The reason you're getting errors is because this program compiles everything as it goes along. So anyways, it compiled everything and that pretty much means it checked our program before it was finished setting it up. So it like set half of it up and then it checked it for errors and it says, whoa, you got half a program here, I'm gonna give you an error. And then it finished setting up and then it was like, oh, my bad, duh, you're good to go. So that's why the uh, error went away. So if you see air, just hold your horses, and uh, yeah, that's it. Just hold your horses. So anyways, go ahead and expand source and com dot the new Boston Android Bucky and double click main activity dot Java, and we see it already built this first class for us. So check it out. Go ahead, look around. If uh, if you like what you see, which you should, then you can go ahead and run it. Just kidding. I fooled you. You can't run it just yet. And the, the reason for that is this. In order to run... Hmm, how am I going to say this? In order to run a Android application on your computer, you need something called an emulator. Now, the most basic way I can describe you guys what an emulator is, it's a fake Android on your phone. It's a fake droid pretty much that you put on your computer. So if you guys were following along with my uh, iPhone tutorials, it's pretty much a simulator. It simulates an Android device on your computer. Bam. There, I finally got it out. So anyways, we need to create one of these emulators to uh, run on our computer. So we're saying, all right, Bucky, enough giving me the definition. Let's just go ahead and create one. Where Here's what you do. First of all, go up to here where this little button is, and it says opens the Android SDK and AVD Manager. Go ahead and click that. And now, let me move this over. What we want to do is we want to create a new AVD. So let's go ahead and click that and look at this box that pops up. What we want to do is first give it a name, and I'm going to name mine like Bucky's underscore phone because you know why not name it that and you also need to give it a target and if you scroll over this you see the version of Android to use in the virtual device well make sure your target is the same however you set up your project and if you remember ours was the Android 2.2 level 8 so go ahead and click that and all this stuff should be good by default so let's go ahead and click create AVD that looks good uh, looks good has a nice little checkbox and um, it says a valid virtual device if it has a check, you know it's good. So let's just go ahead and X out of this. So we're saying, all right, finally, I'm ready to run this dang project. Well, actually, you need to do one more stupid thing, and I promise you guys, this is the last thing you need to do before you actually run this program. You need to tell Eclipse that that is the fake Android that you want to use. And first of all, I, apolo I apologize if I keep saying iPhone instead of Android. It's just because I keep developing iPhone apps every day. But anyways, if I say iPhone accidentally, then, you know, just deal with it. But anyways, what we need to do now is tell Eclipse that that is the Android emulator that we want to use when we're developing for this project. So here's how you do this. Go up to Run and select Run Configurations right there. Now what we need to do is click Android Application expand that and click new configuration now we see all this crap that pops up and here's what we need to do in the name just go ahead and type in new configuration whatever they give you by default it doesn't really matter to be honest now in our project what we want to do is we want to browse and select whatever project we're working on or if you know the name of the project just go ahead and type it in I'll let you guys decide on that one so now after this, what we need to do is, let me make sure I got everything, new config, named it, project, yep, we don't need to do anything with this, alright. The only other thing we need to do is go over to this little target panel, and we need to select, well, you can see right here, select a preferred AVD for deployment. This is pretty much the fake Android that you want to use. Go ahead and select what one you want to use, and then go ahead and you need to hit apply. So go ahead, hit apply, and then, well, let's go ahead and X out of here. All right, so we have everything set up. Our, what's it called? Our configuration, or pretty much Eclipse, is configured to that emulator. We're good to go. Now, whenever you want to run this program or test it out, the only thing you need to do is go up here and hit Run New Configuration. So go ahead and hit this Run button and check it out.
a bunch of boxes pop up and bam look at this our program is running how awesome is this it says Android and it has a nice little blinky thing at the bottom and if you have any errors go ahead and X out of this if you have any errors then they're gonna pop up down here but anyways we now have everything set up and we now should have whenever you click this button then our emulator and our program actually runs so if you're to this point then you're ready to move on to the next tutorial if you're not to this point yet then you did something wrong you need to watch this tutorial again so anyways I am done talking I'm out of breath and I'm gonna go chug a few beers right now so uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, that's it go check out my website and uh, I don't know, donate like a thousand bucks to me and I'll see you guys next tutorial